here i am to present the garden by andrew marvel who is a metaphysical poetry physical poetry this uh, word was coined by samuel johnson while he was about we was talking about the life of abraham cowley in his book lives of the most eminent english poets in the year 1779 to 1880 and 1781 uh, metaphysical means it's a latin it's it has been derived from the latin word metaphysic which is a combination of two words meta and physic which means beyond physical metaphysical means relating to the transcendent or to a reality beyond what is perceptible and abstract some of the char characteristics of metaphysical poetry are it pertains to philosophical questions that cannot be explained by science they range from topics of religion to the consciousness all metaphysical poets question and think about reality the next is poems contains a lot of wit and humor they have used paradoxes and puns many explore the idea of capitalism and the existence of life itself all had religious sentiments the popular poets of metaphysical era are john dun george herbert henry wang andrew marvel richard crashio we already have discussed about john dun and george herbert today we will be presenting andrew marvel these are the previous questions on marvel consider the garden by andrew marvel as a didactic poem assess andrew marvel either as a political poet or as a writer of philosophical and love poetry and critically evaluate the garden this is something about andrew marvel uh andrew marvel was a british metaphysical poet he got his education at hull grammar school until 13 he attended trinity college at cambridge and received degree in 1639 he was elected to represent in parliament in the era 1659 to 1678 poetry has a political aspect as we can say because he gave much of his major lifetime in the politics that's why we can see political satires in his poetry he died of opiate overdose taken due to ag this is a fever fever which we can resemble with malaria and uh, that's uh, and uh, due to overdose of opium he died famous poems of andrew marvel are the love song to his coy mistress to evacuations of an aristocratic country house and garden in upon appleton house and the garden the political address and horatian ode upon cromwell's return from ireland and the later personal character of holland andrew marvel's strong biblical influence is clear in his poems such as the garden the coronet and the bermudas ma'am yes vincent palmieri he has noted that marvel is sometimes known as the british aristides for his incorruptible integrity in life and poverty at death in 2003 christopher peachman published the green and the gold a first person fictional narrative following marvel's life here we come with the poem the garden the garden by andrew marvel is one of the most famous english poems of the 17th century this poem was first published in miscellaneous poem it was published for robert coulter in 1681 this was the first edition uh the summary of the poem is in the initial part of the poem the speaker thinks about the vanity and inferiority of man's devotion to public life and politics war and civic service the speaker thinks that quite an uh, quite an innocence which are present in a private garden are more valuable 
the speaker describes the garden as a place where there are sacred plants away from society the speaker admires the garden because it gives shade of lovely green the speaker thinks that the lovely green is superior to white and red colors that commonly signify passionate love the speaker says that when people's love passion is over they turn towards a contemplative life which is surrounded by nature he admires the fruits and plants found in the garden the speaker imagines that he is tripping over melons and falling upon the grass he begins to feel inner happiness which allows him to create and contemplate the other worlds and other seas poet seems to be implying that for an imaginary and visionary poet the garden is the best place to compose poetry the speaker says that in the garden he envisions his soul releasing itself from his body and perching in the trees like a bird he compares that blissful state to the happy garden state of eden the biblical paradise in the concluding part of the poem the speaker imagines the garden as its own cosmos with the sun running through a fragrant zodiac and an industrious bee working and its work computing the passage of time the critical analysis of the poem the garden is This beautiful poem has nine stanzas. Each stanza has four rhymed couplets. The lines follow iambic pentameter. It has a rhyme scheme of A A B B C C D D. The major theme of the poem is the peacefulness of retirement from busy public life. The poetic devices are symbolism, the palm, the oak, and bays. symbolize crowns made from the trimmings of trees by representing societal pursuits they signify limitations because the trimmings from plants do not last whereas the living trees flourishes personification which we find in stanza 2 line 7 society is all about is all but root metaphor which we find in stanza 6 Marvel compares the mind to an ocean, and in stanza nine, the garden is compared to a galaxy. A bee's work represents time, and the flowers are zodiacs. Similes, my soul into the boughs does glide. There, like a bird, it sits and sings. This quote, along with the statement of body's best and prepared. for longer flight is extremely important it says that the soul can slip out of the body and fly but cannot entirely detach from the physical world until death therefore they must perch in the highest reaches of the garden until their journey to heaven imagery the imagery in this poem conveys the sense of an idyllic garden full of succulent fruit and solitude for example ripe apples drop about my head the luscious clusters of their wine upon my mouth do crush their wine reference to reference to context are i have uh, there are two artists but i have prepared one one is that in my notes uh this has come in december 2015 fair quite have i found thee here an innocent thy sister dear mistaken long i sought you then in busy companies of men as a reference we should write something about the poem and the poet which goes like these lines have been taken from the famous poem of the 17th century the garden written by the famous english metaphysical poet satirist and politician andrew marvel who wrote long and bitterly satirical verses against the corruption of the court in context we have to write something about the uh, era like for which the poem has been written 
or something about the poet because uh, about his uh, feelings about his emotions so here it is the above mentioned lines have been taken from the second stanza of the referred poem here the poet personifies the quietness and innocence in the nature and speaks to them saying saying that he has at last found them after losing his time in men's company the explanation of the above stanza is the poet is extremely satisfied in the arms of the nature he goes on praising the solitude and the quiet of the retirement into the garden believing that he was mistaken he believed that he mistook the fair poet and innocence among the busy companies of men he claims that nature is the only true place for complete luxury the finding of fair quiet and innocence are like the both dear sisters that the poet has found in the garden which he was seeking in the busy companies of men the poet claims that the company of human beings is nothing but barbarous as compared with this enjoyable solitude in the garden critical appreciation of this poem is the main theme of the poem is that peaceful life in the nature is more satisfying than social life and human company the poem is striking in its sensuous imagery with the ideas and a balance between romantic and classical elements as well as its metaphysical qualities so 